because your background is really extensive in data and at Axiom, um, you help advertisers kind of wrestle from the age, gender classifications that they're buying in traditional television media to define what their true target is. Um, tell me a little bit about that journey and how you help clients understand who their true target is and how that becomes um, activated across TV and then multiple channels. Sure, yeah. The, um, it's changed a lot. Even in the couple of years we've been working with addressable TV, it started with just getting beyond the Nielsen age gender into household demographics and more detail along those lines. More recently, we've seen an explosion in data sources, um, not just from Axiom, but from other partners. And so one of the key things that's changed is we're now enabling the world's data because uh, there's a lot of companies out there that have interesting data exhaust that is particularly valuable to a category or to a vertical. And so one of the key things is uh, not just getting beyond those standard demo breaks, but getting uh, enabling the third, all the different third-party data sources that um, advertisers can use. So that's one side of it. The other side is the distribution. I think of it like an hourglass. It's like number of data sources in, is increasing and then number of uh, points of distribution yep. is increasing. And so you've got, yes, they want to use that segment uh, on addressable TV, but they also want to know if there's zone buying opportunities, geo-based buying opportunities, if they can optimize their national linear, and then, of course, they'd like to take that same segment, apples to apples, and port it right over to digital and uh, run the campaign there. And so how well does that translate when you pick a defined, sophisticated target for, let's say, television? How well does it translate and port over to the other channels? If you have the onboarding and the cookie pool to move it over deterministically and you've got the best identity graph in the business, it works really well. So tell me a little bit about yours. Well, we're able to start with either the PII based, the personal information, the name and address that we would start with in TV uh, and match that off against our national reference file um, and then onboard that uh, onto cookies through our live ramp division. Um, or we can start the other way with cookies, which is an emerging use case we see. An advertiser will come in with customers who visited their website um, and they want to bring that to television. In that case, we have to do some extra work, some modeling, some analytics uh, for privacy reasons. You can't just deterministically match from digital back to TV, but you can get there uh, through modeling, and that gives you the ability then on a deterministic basis to reach the same households across the two different platforms. Can you give me um, a few examples of like some really interesting data sets that have been used kind of cross-platform? Absolutely. Um, Probably one of the most interesting, it, well, the first place I would start is the back-end data sets, which is probably not what your question was, but when you think about pulling together the impression data from, say, an addressable TV campaign, along with the impression data from a digital campaign, and you're able to really look at who was exposed, you know, it's that Venn diagram of the, here's the people that saw the TV ad only, here's the people that saw the digital ad only, and here are the people who saw both, and what did that do to your, your results? So I actually go back to the measurement in the back end first, and if you can get that commingled um, apples to apples impression data set, uh, that is a, a very powerful indicator. And do you see more and more advertisers trying to um, get granular uh, impression level data to try and do cross media attribution? We do. We see a huge demand for impression data. I think this is a place where the TV business really um, has an opportunity to standardize and to make it easier to pull those impression data sets together. You know, even if I just ran a national campaign, I can still, from set-top box data, understand who was exposed, who wasn't, how many times they were exposed. And the thing is, TV has a great story to tell in the context of digital. TV should not be afraid of commingling that with digital. The story is really, really powerful. And so I think, you know, that's something that we should be leaning into from a TV industry perspective. I completely agree. Do you see um, the data owners in television loosening up at all? I think that 2017 will be a year of big progress on that front. We do see them loosening up. We certainly see an understanding that um, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts within the industry. Crossing over, you know, what we see big MVPD data mixed with big social media 
digital data next week? No, I don't think so. But will we see um, supersized panels, census-like, multi-MVPD panels of viewership data this year? Yeah, I, th I think we will.